Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's been a minute since I made another video on this, so I'll go ahead and go to part three. There's probably going to be like ten of these videos all together on how to fully customize your video. All right, I'm at your desktop, your Windows 7 theme. All right, basically what I showed you so far is how to get the rocket dock down here, which looks cool, and how to customize your shell, like this, for instance, and stuff like that. Next, I'm going to explain to you how to, like, customize your entire icon layout. For instance, you see this. It'll change in a second. Okay, maybe it won't, but okay. You could change your recycle bin to where it's like a, I'm going to do red, but you could, there's multiple colors you can do. You can change the folder colors, everything, and the little thing that shows up after you go something right here. There it is. That changes and shit like that. Pretty much changes your whole icon shell, which looks pretty pimp. Basically, first thing you're going to need in order to do this is WinRAR. All right. The links are in the description. I'm not going to keep going over that, but I will go ahead and explain this for noobs so you can go ahead and know what to Google. You're either going to need 64-bit for your system type or 32-bit. So if you need WinRAR 64-bit, type in WinRAR 64-bit or go into the description of the video, which I recommend, and just click on the link and it'll start to download for the 64-bit and 32-bit. In order to get to this screen, you can hit the pause break key or you hit Windows, right-click on computer, and go to properties. And it'll bring you to this. That's how you can tell if it's 64-bit or 32-bit. And also in the very first video, or the rocket doc and the second video, it explains to you how to get Renoir. So if you want to click on them videos at the end of this video, it'll go ahead and explain that. So go ahead and give y'all's heads up at the end of the video. It will be one and two of the little series thing. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. You need to go ahead and download this. It's actually a big file. It's like 300 megabytes. So you'll come to this website. You're going to have to register. It's free. Don't worry about it. It don't cost no money. And you want to come down here and you want to hit mirrors. I'll show you real quick. It'll come to this and it'll start to download. I already downloaded it. I didn't, I don't want to sit here and wait 15 minutes for it to download. So that's why that's like that. So you basically need to come to this site right here and just hit mirror downloads after you register register on the site. It's 100% free to register. Okay, cancel and close. Okay, I'm done with that. Now, once you got this file, before you even start, I'm going to go ahead and save you some time. You got to come right here you got to hit UAC and it's your user account control setting. Make sure this is when you're starting to customize your um, Windows theme like I am, always, always have this all the way up to the bottom. Never notify and hit OK. Now that you got that done, you're ready to start. And before we continue, I'm going ahead and let you know this can fuck up your system. Once again, I am not responsible for anything else that happens after this point. This works. But if you just mess up for some reason, you're just new at this, I would go ahead and do a little bit more research into this. But this is pretty much as far as I could break it down as much as possible. I am not responsible for your system being messed up. So you want to right click and hit extract. And you're just going to go ahead and wait for that to extract. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And I promise you that I'm going to finish this series out as long as these videos keep getting, as long as I keep getting support from you guys. It means a lot. And like I said, if you're interested in my actual theme I got right now, that's in the, at the end of the video. All you gotta do is click on it, and the same with the rocket dock. Okay, and doom, doom, doom. Okay, now it's done. All right, you wanna come in here, and like I said, you either have a 64-bit or a 32-bit. Already explained that. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going with this one. You got anywhere from blue, glass, black, glossy, blue, gold, green, pink. I like red, but you got all them options. So you just want to extract the color that you want. You want to come to it. And I'd read this. Like it says, this is very important. You can only do this one time. Once you install it, it's installed. But if you ever uninstall it, which is easy, all you got to do is go back to this and just hit the option to uninstall. It's uninstalled. You cannot do it no more. That's it. It's over with. If you do it again, it will fuck up your computer. Heads up. So make sure you pick your actual favorite color that you like. And... Like I said, I would just read every bit of this to go ahead and make sure everything's straight up on everything. I'm not going to back up any of my files because I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not going to fuck this up. Which it would be funny if I did. All you got to do is come over here. Like I said, you can install it. And once you have it installed and you ever want to uninstall it, just go download this again and hit uninstall and it's uninstalled. And you cannot do it no more after that. But I'm going to go ahead and install. Uh, one, yes, and... <coughs> And then it's going to do that. Now, it's going to ask you, do you want to restart your computer? I'm going to hit no so I can render this video. But 
after you use this, immediately restart your computer, all right? And it'll be right back after we restart. All right, now it's done. You, you can see it changed, like, the recycle bin to red and the folders and shit. But let's go ahead and look at all of them. Let's go to properties on the folders and customization and change icon. And now you can see all the new icons it basically added. And you see how it makes them look like gives them a red theme and shit like that. Which is actually pretty cool. Like I said, it ain't nothing major, but it, it it's just a little bit more customization to your fucking Windows theme. So you can just pimp out your shit more. And I personally like red the best. Red's like one of my favorite colors. My computer's best best um based off a of red theme. And it just matches my whole Windows thing, you know. Alright. That's basically it for the customization of the icons. And you'll see that it changes this little thing up here when it goes to it or whatever. Your documents and all that shit's changed now. Um, this is some more little gadgets and stuff that a lot of you might be interested in. For instance, y'all wondering what these little things on my side of my screen were. Those were like gadgets. So basically, you just want to gadgets. And I got my all CPU meter, which tells you how your performance on your computer is doing for each core or whatever. And how much RAM you're using and stuff like that. And then you got your GPU meter, which I, ruled, I run dual SLI. This should automatically pick it up instantly, so I can tell what my temperature is on my GPUs on my graphics cards. And you can go to settings, and you can choose which one you want it to be. And this is going to be my graphics card one, the very first one, the top one on my PC. And I'm going to change it to Fahrenheit, because I'm not into that Celsius bullshit. And you go back to display, Fahrenheit, and hit OK. And there they are. Let me make sure they're different. All right, that's my top graphics card, and that's my bottom graphics card. And there's my GPU meter. I'm at CPU usage, like RAM and processor and whatnot. And then I got some other cool gadgets. You can Google the gadgets. There's all kinds. I use also my Xbox Live gamer tag one, and basically I put it at the the bottom of the mix. So I pimp this out, and basically what this does is it allows you to see your gamer tag for um, Xbox Live. I'm pretty sure there's one for PlayStation as well. Hit, uh, you type in your gamer tag, which is going to be Eggy Yapper, and hit OK, and boom, it shows you your gamer tag, which is really awesome. Just a little bit more customization you got to your gamer t uh, uh, desktop. This really takes up no RAM usage at all, so if someone tells you that, they're lying. Because I'm talking about, I've noticed no difference from this. And that's basically everything for this video. At the end of the video, I will be showing you how, you can click on the video to learn how to do Rocket Duck. And learn how to do a custom theme like this. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you need more help, message my YouTube channel or add me on Skype. My Skype's B-U-L-L-3-T-20565. And I'm out, YouTube. Peace. It. Really I mean, I just installed a whole new Windows on there, so I got a brand new slate. I figured, why not? This would be the best time to go ahead and show y'all how to pimp out your Windows 7 desktop. Right now, as you can see, I got the plain, boring bullshit, nothing fancy or anything like that. This is only for um, The very, 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 very first thing you're going to need to do is get Windows. All right, before I start.